Hello from my hospital bed. Um, I'm actually in bed uh, more because the heating has broken and it's freezing as opposed to I'm really, really poorly. Although I do feel pretty, pretty poorly to be honest with you. But I just thought while I'm lying here, um, I'll give you all uh, a little update. So um, today I am stem cell transplant day plus six. So what happens is the day that you get your stem cells transplanted back into you becomes day zero. So it's a little bit like a, a rebirth. Um, so in effect, I'm six days old today. And um, where am I at? Um, well, so it takes a few days um, for the teeny bag of killer chemo, I call it, um, that is administered the day before you get your stem cells back. So day minus one. That takes a few days to kind of do its thing. So you have like two things going on. You have the chemo that's given before the transplant that slowly, slowly drops all of your blood levels and your neutrophils to zero. And at the same time, the stem cells that have been put back in is sort of has to slowly sort of engraft and do their job. And the the quicker that they do their job, I guess the the quicker that you 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 go home. But unfortunately there's no getting away from the the drop. Um, so the, the rock bottom, which is when all your bloods hit zero, um, that can be a bit of a bit of a rocky time. So in true Louise style, mine are being a little bit stubborn. Um, the doctor said my body's been resilient, so my bloods haven't yet um, hit zero. So I'm kind of not not at the worst, which is pretty scary because I have been really poorly, especially for the last three days. Um, I can hardly eat, uh, lots of nausea. Um, and extremely weak. I've never experienced weakness like it. Um, I can barely shower. And yeah, apparently that's not that's not the worst. So um, anyway, it's looking like in the next couple of days, um, things, things will hit zero. And at that point, um, you get infections and um, diarrhea and all sorts of potential complications um, which hopefully I won't I won't get I mean infections you will get because you have no immune system um, but fingers crossed that I sort of have the lesser of of all the evils as it as it were so um, it can be quite normal that it's taken this long for me to hit rock bottom um, so the doctors have said sort of not not to worry. It's slightly on the slower side of things, but again, that's that's because the doctor says my body's probably been a bit resilient. So it was kind of the one time I didn't really need to be fighting. Um, but anyway, um, I guess it, it is what it is, and it's mentally a really strange feeling that you are wanting your your immune system to completely crash out and your neutrophils to go to zero um which anyone in their right mind would probably not normally want in a million years but until that happens you you can't recover so it, it it's inevitable and the longer it takes it's just like feels a little bit like torture really just sort of waiting for something that you know is going to be really 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 horrid um but yeah so um that's that's where i'm at i actually can't believe i've been in hospital about about nine days 
it's really frustrating and it's it's really really boring and um i can barely, i barely feel well enough most of the time to sort of read or, or, fo or focus on reading or, or watching anything um although emily in paris just landed on netflix yesterday so i'm quite happy about that um anyway i will fill you in soon bye